Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocko here and in today's video we'll be talking about Litecoin. So guys in today's video I'll give you guys some recent news and recent developments in the Litecoin project and then I'll do a price prediction as well. So guys if you're in Litecoin <laughs> it's not really looking great for us, it, Litecoin have crashed more than, I mean the whole cryptocurrency market has been bleeding but Litecoin in particular has taken a massive hitting. We were sitting comfortably at 4th, now we are struggling to, struggling with the seventh position and I mean how how low can it go I'll do a price prediction at the end could it go to as low as 30 Um I I said in Twitter and in my recent communications that Litecoin shouldn't go below 50 and there has been a bit of a price jump I mean I don't really want to call it a price jump but there has been some sort of a jump in in Litecoin probably slightly more than some other coins because uh, not just me some other technical analysts are talking about some support around the 48 to 50 region and $50 is a massive psychological support level as well so the but the bulls are trying to hold that level and if you look at the rsi level is is such is such at an over oversold level you, you we haven't seen these much these sort of oversold levels in in a while so i definitely say there's going to be a bounce in litecoin how big of a bounce is it it's difficult to say it will depend on bitcoin but again this video is not just about price I, i'm talking a bit about price uh, but this video is not just about price this is another technical analyst and in and in twitter as well a few people talked about a uh, strong level of support at 50 and the rsi level at 35 so it has played out but I, I, i'm not sure if this this run if you call it if you can call it a run is going to be sustainable i don't see it unless bitcoin um steadies and bitcoin goes on that bull run but i'm quite bullish on there might be a potential bounce play to play in bitcoin but in the mid term guys in the short term i see see like a bitcoin going down as well so you know what happens when bitcoin goes down so enough of the price talk let's give you guys some update on litecoin so there there has been some positive that's been going on i'll share some positives and some negatives because you know in in this channel crypto rocker guys i try to give you the positives and the negatives i don't just show a coin and tell you all the positives and and get fanboys i do get some hate as well for talking the truth but i'll share my honest opinion and let you guys make up your own mind so if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel guys please subscribe to my channel it's crypto rocker on youtube and i do videos on litecoin bitcoin ripple tron most of the cryptocurrencies and i try to give you guys a good update on on in the cryptocurrency market and potentially you can make some money as well i, I used to make a lot of litecoin videos i haven't made as made uh, as many litecoin videos lately because there seems to be a bit more demand on ripple and tron videos but i will definitely keep you guys updated on litecoin because if you guys follow me that's what, what my main coin was back in the days when i used to make cryptocurrency videos so guys and also i, I do half a litecoin giveaways if you want to win half a litecoin please subscribe to my channel half a litecoin is not m worth as much as it used to be worth when i used to do half a litecoin giveaways so i might have to give give away a full litecoin nowadays because there's not uh, litecoin prices is not as much and half a litecoin was almost a hundred dollar when i was giving away litecoins anyways guys and uh, the quick let's give let's talk about some recent developments on litecoin so guys a blockchain startup enables litecoin transactions via telegram messenger which is again really positive news more adoption more people using litecoin that is what we want to see so a bear market is the best time for people to work on adoption charlie lee if you don't know he's the founder of litecoin check out light.im send and receive litecoin ltc on telegram eventually it will support sms as well so this is really positive news guys and you'd like to see more of this news hopefully when the bull market if if if, it, if we were in a bull market and this news came out litecoin would have been up 10 20 percent so guys uh, just, it's good to see that there's, there are some developments on litecoin and it is not dead completely and after talking about Litecoin, I was very, very bullish on Litecoin when the light pay stuff was going on and i made some really really good videos as well i mean what's up the my most popular videos were were about light pay when i used to make videos on light pay and the, and they were really good videos and i was very bullish on light uh, light pay but it has really disappointed me what what has happened but litecoin is still working on it and i'm not as bullish on litecoin as i once was but still litecoin has is a good project and if they can still keep delivering with pay with litecoin it can come good but they, they have got a lot to do and especially charlie lee needs to win some trust back i'll talk about some negatives as well um so charlie lee tries to clarify that 
the, there's a partnership with token pay i've made a video about token pay and, and whether it was bullish news or not i had my skepticism about the partnership because uh, token pay was involved in a way verge was involved so there, it was it wasn't 100 percent great partnership so charlie lee came out and tried to kind of clear things up saying that litecoin is a decentralized network and currency whereas litecoin foundation is a centralized non-profit organization and they're trying to make sure there's development adoption and usage of litecoin so that kind of makes sense and and he talks about that you know he has been highly critical of ICOs as many as uh, with outright scams set up to fail because of had bad incentive structures but he respects token pay for delivering on its promise and Litecoin apparently didn't pay for to get that percentage of the bank they were given it to support with um, for their the Litecoin support with blockchain and in he talks about the positives he ends it in a good note saying if crypto solutions like debit card merchant processing and other innovative solutions could come off this partnership so it could be good guys and we definitely have much higher chance of succeeding now that we own a stake in a bank with a bank license so guys he talks about this and in the worst case uh you know the main cost of the to this would be reputational for Lee, the potential gains far outweigh the risks. So in a way, he's trying to turn it into a positive. I suppose it is good. We'll have to wait and see if he can deliver. I'm not going to lie, guys. After Litepay, I have been disappointed with Litecoin. So another positive news, something that I like about Litecoin is Pay with Litecoin. I've been asked on Twitter to support this. And Pay with Litecoin is a great initiative to kind of drive adoption for Litecoin. And there are some places you can use your Litecoin. So this is good to see pay with litecoin and more adoption for litecoin and would need to see more of that to see if we can succeed so um this news um again charlie lee is quite a charismatic figure i'm, uh, I'm not gonna i'm not sure whether you like it whether you like him or not he's always in the news um again i've been disappointed after the light pay and especially the way it was communicated i understand it's in a newer stage of development i, I don't want to keep going on about light pay but Charlie Lee is talking about he's trying to push LTC to $400 so people will stop shitting on me all the time who abandoned LTC. So, you know, he sold at a very high price and now people kind of hate on Charlie Lee because he's so low. And then I've shared my views on that. Uh, you can watch my previous videos if you want to find out my views on Charlie Lee's selling at high stake. But, you know, he's trying to defend it. He's saying that LTC would be 400. He also talked about being uh, becoming the fourth largest cryptocurrency again. It feels like ages ago when, uh, when Litecoin was, you know, above these coins. Now he's seventh. Potentially could go even lower. Um, so we'll have to see if Litecoin can get above Stella. Stella's taken over over EOS, which is quite good, strange to see. So this is what he said, and he said he talked about that company partnership again. The best case for the bank, what will happen, and and he talks about the reputational damage. We just we just spoke about it before, especially the debit card and merchant processing and innovative solutions could be good. People have brought up valid concerns that we still need to work with and be approved by players in current financial systems like visa swift but we definitely have a much higher chance with it with uh, now you own a stake in a bank with a bank license it just shows you how how he's trying to turn that into positive news and i'm 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 gonna keep my reservations on it i'll let it play out to see if it's a if it's a good news or a bad news i'm not gonna buy more litecoin because of this i will try to uh, buy more litecoin to play some overplay oversold bounces or if it goes very low i'm gonna buy some more litecoins and uh, i'm not gonna give you you guys that figure again but if it goes really low if, if, if it is that bloodbath coming but people are expecting then i might buy some more light coins but there are some other projects that i'm looking at now as well and just a reminder guys i always talk about bitcoin make sure you hold enough bitcoin but when market is crashing bitcoin is usually not crashing as much so guys this article is slightly negative it talks about the negatives of charlie lee selling at the high at the high the debacle of light pay again i've talked about and it's a fairly new article as well and they people keep going on about it so charlie lee lost some trust but with selling at, at the massive highs and he kind of lost his money monitor incentive in a way i know he talked about a uh, conflict of interest 
Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Then Litecoin, you know, it was a PR disaster, really. Litecoin, and they've attempted with fresh starts with partnership with uh, Alliant Payments and 10x in an attempt to resurrect the project. So far, these have failed to capture the public imagination. Having kickstarted the year at 12.6 billion, nearly hitting 14 billion, it had fallen. I mean, it's massively low, guys. Litecoin have taken the biggest hit in a way, and in a way, it's looking really bad. Expectations of 10x growth failed to materialize immediately leading to massive sell-off on exchanges Lee designed Litecoin to be the fast alternative to Bitcoin which has long suffered from scalability problems this would be fine if cryptocurrencies were actively being used as an alternative to fiat and um, I know this this doesn't sound really good and this guy is talking about you know this Charlie Lee needs to forget about he talks about Charlie's charismatics as well like he talked about stellar humans taking over um, Stellar Lubman's taking Litecoin and then he kind of tried to play it down. It wasn't the best answer. And they end by saying, you know, this is not silver to Bitcoin's gold. It's actually fool's gold. I'm not going to go as far as that because I still like Litecoin. And with what they're trying to do is pay with Litecoin. And if we get some bullish scenario for Litecoin, the Litecoin is so popular on Twitter. I haven't got my Twitter open. That Rockstar Crypto with Litecoin fam, Litecoin Nation is so popular. If Bitcoin, if Bitcoin goes up, Litecoin goes up people will FOMO and I'll make more videos on Litecoin but Litecoin definitely has room to grow so we shouldn't I'm not as harsh as that article but I wanted to share with you all the all sides of the story so you can you can make up your own decision I'll give you guys my my views at the end of this video as well so Litecoin must gun for big brother Bitcoin so this article is, is it's a bit crazy this article i wasn't sure whether to to show you this or not but this article talks about litecoin has proven that it is very it's more efficient alternative to bitcoin and way more friendlier than ethereum therefore charlie needs to put on his battle helmet and gun for the top or risk being obsolete i mean i don't really agree with that i'm not sure how litecoin can go after bitcoin it's a really new article i didn't really i wasn't sure what to what to make of this article but this article talks about in in, in conclusion litecoin is slowly and evidently losing relevance in the cryptoverse due to its long-held philosophy of complementing bitcoin it is it time for litecoin foundation to remove the boxing gloves and get in a bare knuckle brawl to get back to the top i don't think it needs to get back to like fighting and kind of lose that complementing bitcoin it can still do other stuff you know if it can give debit cards if it can come up with pay with litecoin drive adoption and other innovative solutions then yes it can compete i don't i don't think it needs to do something drastic and kind of potentially lose what they've got because litecoin is still in the top 10 i agree it is losing some relevance because there's some newer interesting shinier projects that are coming up but i don't think they should change everything because of that so litecoin price prediction the bulls might soon i wanted to end end up with like a positive note in a way this article again I'm not the biggest fan of this website, but their their titles are so catchy. I need to learn a bit of marketing from this from this website because their t articles are very clickbait, and you, or you you want to click on it. So it again talks about Litecoin going down, and you know bulls are trying to move up, and it's it's gone down so much, and with with the increases in, in adoption, you know people are saying there are better days ahead for LTC, which is, which I kind of agree with. On the other hand, analysts are now claiming the current market tends favors Litecoin and an unexpected rebound is likely to occur anytime from now crypto experts are arguing Litecoin in the oversold region so I've talked about to start of this video that they're in an oversold region and the RSI levels so there might be a bounce but if Bitcoin doesn't bounce I'm not sure how much of a bounce we'll see so in the long term guys where do we see the the price of Litecoin could it go back to five hundred six hundred dollars people were expecting to be honest guys I, this this bear market could continue till the end of the year i'm sorry to say it but we might not see a bull run again this you can't predict the market guys things could change i have to keep a close eye on my technical in, um, indicators and my price actions and then i have to make my decision but you know it could go down to 30 dollars even or it could go up but what i'll say is litecoin i'm still i still like litecoin i'm still bullish on litecoin but there are other projects especially especially bitcoin that i'm more bullish on i've talked about bitcoin's uh, dominance increasing i've i've released a video on twitter of sorry not a post couple of posts on twitter talking about bitcoin and um, dominance i said that when it was like 40 
40 percent that bitcoin was going to keep going up and that has happened if the, if this market continues it could even go higher so guys um uh, so that was my kind of view on litecoin really it needs to keep developing is kick needs to drive adoption and hopefully the price will come don't get bogged down into the short-term prices if you're bullish on litecoin long term buy litecoin uh, make sure you do your own research and invest cleverly do not do not just listen to someone on youtube do not listen to me and buy litecoin do your own research and if you believe in litecoin as a good project buy the lows rather than the highs and um, so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it smash that like button uh, it really means a lot to me guys and helps to spread the word so if you subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and family more people can find out more about litecoin so make sure you share this not not just my video but talk about litecoin too to your friends and and i'd really appreciate if you like and subscribe to my channel and share this video as well final questions guys what is your predictions for litecoin in the short term by end of the year and in the long term as well i'd love to hear your thoughts and if you want to win half a litecoin subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button leave your litecoin addresses below I'm might be giving away full litecoin if the prices are as low as this um so thank you very much for watching this video guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much